Let's talk about shortcuts because nothing's worse than switching tools or digging through menus. Here's eight shortcuts that will instantly up your editing game. Instead of manually selecting the blade tool to cut the clip, there's an easier way. The default shortcut for this is Control B to cut the clip at the playhead, but I made it even easier for myself. I customized it to S instead. Here's how you can do that. Go to the keyboard customization section and search for split clip. There you can select any key that works for you. So let's say you've done with your rough cut and your timeline has got random gaps in it. Normally you'd have to drag around the clips almost like solving a puzzle or you can click on the gap to highlight it and then press backspace I believe to delete the gaps but there's an easier way. Just hit Control G on your keyboard and everything snaps together perfectly. To manually trim your clip after every cut it can be super time consuming to drag and then shift everything into place afterwards. The key combinations for ripple delete is also hard to remember sometimes. So I went and made it even easier. I customized them to Q and W. So in the keyboard customization window, just search for ripple. Under the ripple drop down menu, you'll see that there's end to playhead. Just select W for that and then start to play it, select Q for that and everything snaps automatically into place with no gaps, no extra work. It's a huge time saver. We've got this one clip looking perfect. Effects and everything's on point, but now you have to apply that effects to like 200 more clips. Instead of manually applying each effect to multiple clips, select the clip with the effects and hit Control C to copy that clip and then highlight all the clips that you want the effect to apply to and hit Alt and V on your keyboard to paste those effects on the, onto the other clips. Now this attributes window will open so you can select exactly what attributes you want to use and not use. Let's say you've got an interview that you have to watch through or a long talking head, you have to listen through the whole thing before you start editing. If you press L, it will play forward. If you tap it twice, it will speed up twice. And the more you tap it, the more it will speed up. The exact same thing with J, just in reverse. Now, if you need to pinpoint a specific frame, you can hold K in while tapping J or L to go forward or backwards one frame at a time. So you're basically finished with your edit, but you need to take out something or remove something right in the middle of the edit. Now, you don't wanna move everything around manually because you've got multiple tracks going on. There's a lot going on in the timeline. One way to do this is to highlight everything and hope you didn't skip any clips before you move. That can be risky. Or the shortcut for that is Alt Y. Wherever your playhead is, it will select everything to the right of the playhead. And then Control Y is to grab everything to the left. These are also not default shortcuts. I think only Alt Y was a default shortcut, but I changed the other one to Control Y. It just makes sense in my head, but you can change it to whatever you want. So if you want to customize that, just search for select clips backward and select clips forward. This is another shortcut that can save you a lot of time, especially if you have a lot of compound or fusion clips in your timeline. There's no default shortcut for this, but usually you have to right click on the clip and then click on opening timeline. And it can take a lot of time if you have multiple compound or fusion clips in your timeline. But I found that H on my keyboard was open. It wasn't used for anything. So I just customized it to H. In the keyboard customization menu, just search for open in timeline. So you've got a massive timeline, but everything's the same color. The best way to organize your clips are to color code them so you can keep track of everything, right? This can be time consuming because that means you need to highlight the clips, right click and then select the color that you want every time and then the next batch, the next batch, you get where I'm going with this. Now the easy way is by hitting control one to nine. In the keyboard customization window, search for clip color. 
In each color, just select Control 1 on the numpad, Control 2, go down the list. And then when you run out of numbers, you go Control Alt 1, Control Alt 2, and just go through the list until you've customized all the colors. And then it's as easy as highlighting Control 1, highlighting Control 2. That makes organizing your timeline much faster, much easier, and it looks better. So customize these, make them work for you, and see how much faster you edit. Leave a comment on your favorite shortcuts that saves you a lot of time that's not mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.